In 1816, Frobe College became the literary and linguistic center of West Africa. As I was graduating, the thought was, I've got to go to Fobe College. Wow. I looked forward to going to this place and I got my admission. Bingo for me. Na fotinga tranga wan inside soul. Like a big cotton tree. So when we camp with the wala, they no go ebul me. You see? <laughs> they looked at us as being VIP. Going to Fuabe College, I became exposed. Fuabe College was a mixer. It was a university that brought people from the sub-region and from Africa together. If I say Fuabe College, I'm thinking about Nigeria. If I say Nigeria, I'm thinking about Fuabe College. I know a lot of other Americans who have come here and either graduated or maybe spent a year and still, even today, we have Fulbright scholars uh, virtually every year who come and spend time at uh, Fort Bay College. We want to promise the public that um, within the next year or year and a half, Fulbright College will go back to its right to the The name Fulbright College is a brand name. And it's a brand we need to protect, and what we also need to sell. I think we have a commitment, all of us, to restore Fruby College to its uh, former image as the Anthens of West Africa. I am proud of Fruby College. Yeah, I'm a proud Frobite and uh, I'm proud that I went through the great institution has made me what I am today. I'm Ade Likwichi. I'm the country director for UNDP, United Nations Development Program in Nigeria, and I am the product of Rabi College. I am a Fuabai. It is the best university. I am so proud. I feel so good. I feel so fulfilled and rewarded for being we were very proud to be known as Forabe College students. I am glad. I am proud. I am a poor fighter.